I work with a dialect coach. I'm very interested in you know accents and voices anyway. I always have been, and um, I was keen to to see how vocal preparation for a role could really kind of influence the the character and the psychology of the character. And the southern drawl and, and the southern charm in particular is kind of key to David. We wanted to believe him when he says he's from Louisville, Kentucky, but to so, sort of muddy that a little bit. So he has this sort of vague Kentucky vibe. Also processed through a military dialect. I mean, anyone who, who is involved in the military, um, you know, very often has their native dialect modified somewhat, um, which blurs his origins a little bit, and we, we, we like that element. Um, but I listened to a number of, you know, different source materials of different kinds of guy from Kentucky, and, and in particular one friend of mine who is from Kentucky, who, who I had, uh, he recorded the Gettysburg Address for me so I could hear all the uh, consonants and vowels, so I have, you know, had that on loop. I certainly had to work a lot harder in the gym than I would normally, uh, you know, normally do, um, and eat a lot more protein than I normally would, uh, you know, more regularly, every two hours. And uh, the martial arts played a big part in it as well, the kind of the discipline of that. Um, it was very interesting to see how that fed into both the physical transformation and also the, the emotional, uh, you know, uh, and psychological preparation for the character. Not for a while. I mean, I, you know, I sort of, I still like to write and um, I've enjoyed connecting with the comedy a bit more in some of, some of my work and, and I guess the closest thing I got was introducing Benedict Cumberbatch at the GQ Awards the other week. But yeah, he's an old friend and uh, he, he knew what he was, uh, he was letting himself in for by allowing me to present him this award. So um, no, we had a good laugh about it afterwards. It being a real kind of celebration of cinema, um, in a way that we, we really wanted the guest to be. We wanted it to sort of remind you of that feeling of seeing those 80s and 90s action thrillers.